So for today, we're going to be looking at Heart of Inmost Light. This did not get asked for, but I thought it would be appropriate considering everyone and their mom is currently using this one. And even with the changes that are coming to the ARC subclass, I still think this is going to be viable as fuck. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to keep saying this until that number gets better because it's wild how much, how many people come to my channel and just watch a video and leave. So I'd appreciate it. And other than that, let's get into it. So before we get started with Heart of Inmost Light and how it looks, let's actually look at what the exotic does. Overflowing light. Using an ability, uh, grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen melees and grenades do more damage and barricades have more hit points. So it's really cool. Uh, that's probably why you see a lot of people doing the dumbest shit with this, which is why you're also seeing people use storm grenades because storm grenades on top of the Titans, a new aspect is really good. I don't have much to say about this because I personally haven't been using this build because I haven't been playing the game like at all to to be to be fair i kind of took like three weeks off which means i missed out on a lot of the halloween stuff i didn't get a god roll for the sniper which is i'm still kind of regretting but that's pretty much what it does it's really good obviously i don't have to explain this to you because it, this build has been destroying the meta to the point where people are asking it for it to get nerfed rightfully so but it's kind of busted. So Heart of the Most Light is an interesting exotic in the fact that it's such a plain looking exotic. Like it's it doesn't wow you. Uh, the only cool thing about it is the fact that the like scars on the chest piece and in the back of the chest piece, more bullets in the back, but still like all of this damage is blue, which is super cool. And it does not change color, unfortunately. I would love to see Bungie rework this so that way it changes with whichever subclass you're using because this is a class agnostic or a subclass agnostic exotic, which means that you can really use this with any exotic or any subclass, which is why I would like to see different colors for it because you guys will see from like one of my favorite examples that's that I made for the Heart of Most Light, why I think they need to change that. So. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders fine. Again, like I said, the only problematic piece will be the fact that the blue tinge doesn't change color. I know a lot of people are going to get really annoyed about that. Uh, with so the special thing for me is the fact that I actually made four example sets, which is kind of funny, but I did decide to make four because everyone and their mom is using this and because I had a lot of fun using this. So you guys will notice that a lot of these shaders that I chose uh there's some blue in it so that way i can at least match the blue in the chest piece so again a shadering situation it all shaders fine it's just the blue doesn't change color and if my eyes are not deceiving me the brass doesn't change color specifically like on like brass it's brass it's, it's on top of the shoulders some of it is like below the rib like that brass color will not change color from what i'm noticing other than that it's not that annoying. I think the only really annoying part is the fact that the like abdominal spot, um, like the sides has this really like nasty, not nasty, but it's just a, not a good pattern personally. So there is that as well. As for the first example set. So for the example sets, I'm just going to show you my favorite one first. This one legitimately took me about an hour because I was just finicky. like, this is, this is the first one I worked on and I'm going to be real with you guys. This is my favorite one. I think it looks amazing, very majestic, very cool in my opinion. So for the helmet, we're using the virtuous helm because I wanted something regal to like, it's kind of like the chest piece is so fucked up and the boots are also like crumbling as well, like cracks and whatnot that I still wanted to maintain like a sense of royalty for everything else. So it's kind of like, like a knight is currently fighting something and the light within is breaking out kind of a little theme towards it, but I wanted to make it seem like my Titan is like of royal descent, but the cracks on the armor is like the light coming from within because I'm fighting so much and the cracks in the chest piece will most likely just be like, Oh, it's damaged obviously. So, uh honestly i really like this set. i think the arms arms of optimus looks really good with this set 
which surprised me because I rarely use the arms of Optimus C. I think the last time I used it was probably a year or two ago. It's been a while. For the chat for the boots, Solstice Graves uh M Magnificent is not something new. This is like one of my bread and butter pieces because it's so good. Uh, one of my favorite boots in the game currently because I also have this uh I also have these boots for another set, specifically the Lorelei Splendor slash uh Helmet Saint 14 look that I have on these two videos. And I think I found my arc look, which is pretty funny. Thankfully, we are getting an ARC 3.0 armor set next season, so hopefully that looks really cool because I can just put something else in there. Um, but even then, I think every piece looks amazing. I think the the mark looks amazing. It's from Solstice year, this year, so unfortunately, you can't get it anymore. And usually, you're not able to get these after they're gone, unfortunately. Uh, the only way you can obtain them is through the eververse store that's the only way you're, you're going to be able to obtain this but you won't be able to obtain the non glow version unfortunately unless bungie brings back all the armors from previous season which i am all for i would i hope they would do that because it's kind of dumb not to have all the armor from for people that weren't there so yeah titans let me know what you guys think i think this set looks amazing uh definitely pick it up if you like it i think the shader the precursor of x chrome looks amazing with it and the reason i'm using this shader is because you guys can see from the virtuous helm it actually has a blue glow to it which is kind of like the whole point like I, i'm trying to have shaders that either have blue in them or have a glow that has blue in it so that way i can still hold that like uh color from the chest piece so that way it's not just like that color is just randomly put there so titans let me know what you guys think as for the second look it's for the same chest piece the default look this one is also really cool. So for the helmet, Pathfinder's helm was an easy choice because I wanted to retain a little royalty. Obviously I'm using gold for, so like I wanted to look prestigious and the Solstice Gauntlet's Majestic is an easy choice. I also love the fact that the I can choose between the non-glow or the glowed version. I didn't go with the glowed version just because the arms are very, very heavy with the glow. So I wanted, uh, just to have cracks in the armor, which is completely fine for me. For the boots, Crushing Greaves is an easy choice. I love, love the fact that the Crushing Greaves actually took the gold shader, because if you guys don't know, the Crushing Greaves actually takes the off color of armor pieces. So if you guys are new to my channel, the shader situation is really fucked to the point where like these Crushing Greaves will actually take the off color of certain shaders. So for example, if a shader has a color for armor that's like red and then the off color is black these boots would take the black color color instead of red so really cool that this take took the gold because i wanted to use the boots because i think the boots look cool with it i love the the little like like wings at the side of the legs i think that's really cool and then for the mark reason tusk allegiance mark because it's literally one of my favorite marks in the game like legitimately one of my favorite marks the only issue I have with it is the fact that on female Titans, it looks really weird because if you guys can see from the side, you'll actually notice that uh, the the like waist belt thing is too high or too out there. So it looks kind of dumb, but it, it is what it is. I, I can't really fix that. Like Bungie hopefully will fix this one day. Maybe hopefully, probably not. But as for the shader, we're using Cursed Azor because A, there's blue in there. The glow's also blue, but I also wanted some gold in there because again, I'm going for a very like majestic look, I want to say. Uh, but you can, you can do a lot more things with this chest piece. It's just for me, my head kept going back to my, my Titan, like my majestic, like almost like a royal family Titan has been injured in battlefield and the light is coming out. So that's kind of like the theme that I had for my head for these two. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which one do you like? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. So unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to see it, the Heart of Inmost Light does have an ornament. It's called the Bronze Carapace. Now I say unfortunately slash fortunate because it does have an ornament, which usually I like because there's some exotics that just don't even have an ornament. And then we have an ornament like this. So my gripe with it is if you have done the uh 
the Garden of Salvation raid, then you guys will know that obviously this is inspired by that armor set, which in and of itself is an inspiration from an Ever set. So it's pretty funny. But it's unfortunate because this follows the same annoying rules that that armor set, specifically the GOS armor set has, which is the glow will not change color. The like almost cement rock thing on the sides will not change color. A lot of these pieces will not change color. The only thing that really does change color is like the armor pieces. And I'm specifically meaning the armor pieces that are holding like the electrical pieces and the cement piece together. Uh, I, I don't remember if the like metal inside the chest piece changes where the glow's at. I'm pretty sure that doesn't change color as well, which is also super unfortunate because you're pretty much at the whim of this chest piece, which is unfortunate. This is even worse than the default look because at least the default look, it's just the blue, which could be very much ignored. This, however, the glow in the middle doesn't change color. The cement rock thing doesn't change color. The metal in the front doesn't change color. And if my if I'm looking at this correctly, there's an orange piece at like almost the belly button that doesn't change color. There's a lot of pieces that don't change color in this set and it outright pisses me off a little. But because I hate my life, I made an example set for 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 this chess piece, two of them specifically. So for the first one, I'm using the Kabir's battle cage with the interlaced gauntlets because the electrical look, I really like it. We're using the Legacy Oath Greaves because the electrical look and then the Forge ma Machinist or Mechanist uh, mark because I don't want a lot of cloth in this set because obviously I'm going for an electrical look. Now at that point you could probably just use the interlaced mark. I personally don't like it which is why I'm not using it. But I like the Forge Machinist set because there's little cloth to this and the cloth that is there is like the sides and the back so i think it looks super cool let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i think my only grievance with this chest piece is again just too many pieces do not change color as for the shader we're using the argent territory uh there shouldn't be any color restriction for this one because again there's just so many pieces that are restricting your choices already that you might as well just go in and ignore everything else for the second look, I do end up using, I think, the boots from Greaves of the Ascendancy, which is obviously the the boots from Garden of Salvation. The helmet is Kabir's Battle Cage again, because this one is more of a Vex look, which is why I'm using the, the helmet for you, you could switch it out for any other piece, but that's the one I wanted to go with for the arms we're using the Omega Mechanos gauntlets because a, it's the only piece I have from that set because I got it back in Warmind, even though it shouldn't have been dropping. And it's fine. Like, I don't really mind it. Do be aware that if you want to use the Greaves of Ascendancy, it's basically this, but the right arm is on both sides. So it is symmetrical. The glow is this hint of purple and like blue almost. So be aware that you're going to have to find a shader that has that similar glow, which is why I'm using the Rose Scale shader because that shader actually does have that tint of purple. So if you have row scale, that's a really good shader to use with this. If you want to combine the purple for the bond or for the mark, I should say we're using the phenotype plasticity mark because wow, there's so many things. <laughs> there's so many reasons why I'm using pieces that I'm using specifically the phenotype plasticity mark is the best one for this because it doesn't have a white glow on it. As you guys know, the phenotype plasticity set has a lot of white glows in it. So the boots have like a white glow coming from the, I'll probably show you right now, maybe um, if I don't find it too much of a pain in the ass, but you guys can see that just there's too much white. The chest piece has a white spot in the middle, if I remember correctly, and white spot. It's just too much white. And I didn't want white in here on top of everything else. Although the chest piece does have a glow that's kind of white. So you could probably mix and match that. But then you lose the option of using the Greaves of Ascendancy because the Greaves of Ascendancy, uh, the glow doesn't change color. So a lot of things to take into account when you want to combine pieces. So just be aware that the Greaves of Ascendancy will always retain that color, which is why I ended up just ignoring the phenotype plasticity, everything aside from the helmet, I think the helmet would have been the best option. And then maybe switch the Kabir's battle cage for the Kabir's uh, mark, because then at that point you have a really cool mark. 
and because rose scale has the purple it would have matched a little bit better but this is what i came up with let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think again like i said my favorite one is the first one that i showed you guys i think that one looks amazing i to be quite honest i think the first and the second look that i made for the default look of it just look amazing i think they just came out really good but if you want to know my honest opinion and the set that i would be wearing it would be the first one just because it looks so majestic and so cool so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below titans did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below so i am working on some content i'm working on a second channel as well currently i am kind of piggybacking uh all the con all the non-destiny 2 content that's in my channel currently i'm putting in the new channel which is why it's taking me a while because i do have quite a bit of content that's not destiny 2 related to my main channel but i do have content for this channel which is going to be the uh doomfang pauldrons i already have i've already completed it i just need to make a out or a, a voiceover for it which is what i'm going to do right after this one and then the bombardiers for the hunters which is most likely going to be the next one out because the hunters uh still technically need one more and then you'll get doomfang pauldrons and then we'll be working on warlock stuff for then and then uh hopefully i can finish some of the exotic or not the exotic some of the legend hopefully i can fix Hopefully I can finish the legendary weapons reviews that I want to do because I do want to review some of the weapons from the season because I think they're really cool. And I do have some other like videos that I want to talk about specifically, like some some of the things that's happening in the community and whatnot. But oh, and some like weapon tuning that I think we we need to see as a in the game. So let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you guys and I appreciate you and I'll see you guys later.